Hi, Matt Johnson here at the Outdoor Dish. We're going to show you a very neat tool that I like to use on a regular basis. It's called the frying sauce. If you like to deep fry fish, chicken, shrimp, vegetables, whatever it might be, this tool is very portable. It operates on a one pound propane cylinder or it can be used through a hose attachment to power off a larger device, whether it be a five pound, 10 pound, 20 pound propane tank to cook your catch very efficiently with a little cleanup, little setup, very easy to use. This is the tool itself, the frying saucer. As you can see, you got a portion in the middle that holds your oil. It preheats quickly so you can get your fish cut, your chicken cut, whatever it might be, in the oil fast. The outer perimeter here stays warm, stays hot. So after you're done cooking the first batch, you can set it there in this outer perimeter to keep it warm. So fish, chicken, whatever it might be, is not go cold while well, people come and eat. If you're like me and my family, this portion does not last long because the second I flip a piece of fish or chicken on there, one of my boys comes up there and snatches it off pretty quick and away he goes. So I'm going to show you a little some chicken. My family, depends on the day, they may or may not want fish. My wife doesn't care for fish. She will eat it on occasion, but my boys, they prefer chicken oftentimes. So all I've done is I've battered up some tiny little chicken nuggets. What I've done is I've taken plain chicken breast and we'll just cut them into tiny little chunks. Take the goose antler batter lodge. And what I do with my family is I use half original, half Cajun and mix it up because Cajun directly can be a little hot, especially for the younger kids. If you have kids in your family, people that don't like some of the hotter temperatures. So I've mixed that batter up and you can see we got tiny little chunks. And all we're doing with these chunks is batter them up inside this little batter box. And you drop them right into the preheated oil. It cooks very efficiently. I usually put in maybe a dozen or 15 pieces, depending on the size. But as you get the hang of this tool, you'll see the opening, the diameter here. You don't want to put too much in there. It won't cook as efficiently. So I'll put about a dozen or 15 pieces in there. And I'll let that cook for, let's say, a couple minutes. I'll flip them a little bit. A couple minutes, flip them a little bit. And then after I'm all done, I'll take them off. And you'll see here, they'll sit perfectly right on that side. So I got about a dozen or so, 15 pieces in there. You can see it's cooking nice and nice and evenly. Another important piece of information here when using this frying saucer is to make sure you're on an even surface. So the oil is dispersed evenly, you get a nice cookie bag. So you can see there it's bubbling nice, the oil is preheated, and away we go. So let's give this a few minutes to cook and we'll show you what we do and as the process continues to get these laid on here nice and neat to stay nice and warm and we'll continue on with the show we'll be back in a second hi welcome back as you can see our chicken is cooking very evenly here deep frying inside this frying saucer i want to show you a couple accessories available for this system what happens to be the oil dipper what this does is just as it says you can get into your chicken you can get into your fish very efficiently it doesn't burn, it doesn't melt, it's made of materials that are conducive to using this part of this type of equipment. So as you can do, you can see there, I can see my chicken very easily. If I want to flip them on the side and they're done, great. If not, I can put them back in and stir them. A tool you want to have, don't just use a fork, have something that's easy. And as you can see, it'll actually drain the oil out as I check what I'm looking at. So a very, very efficient tool to have. Next is, as you can see in front of me, and as you probably can hear, it's a windy day out here. And up until recently, it was hard to use some of these systems unless you were blocked by a drum by a wall. So I'm in direct wind. You can see this is cooking at high temperatures still by using this windshield. All it does is attach to the bottom of this through Velcro. Another item from Flying Saucer will be available in short time. So now we're around the ice up alongside your house here in the middle day. You can put this system on there and you can be cooking fast and efficient. It doesn't take forever for your oil to preheat. As we all know, if you've ever used any kind of propane fire, let's say ice fishing, it takes minutes, 20, 30 minutes for oil to preheat because of the propane. With this wind block, I can have this preheated within minutes and we're ready to go so we can quickly cook fish, chicken, whatever it may be for the family. So two quick accessories I want to talk about here for the frying saucer system. So we're getting close to eating here. We'll be back here in a few seconds and we'll show you what we've cooked up. Welcome back. Now, for the best part of this show, in my opinion, the finished product. What we've got here, as you can see, is evenly cooked chicken. And the nice thing that we talked about earlier is this outer rim keeps food nice and warm and hot. 
because I'm going to prepare a lot of this stuff. I got three hungry boys. I got family members that like to chow down. So the first batch, as you can see, as it's done, I'm just flipping it here onto the side, letting it stay warm until the rest of the meal is prepared. It's just that easy. So we just cook, we consider here chicken nuggets, chicken bites, popcorn chicken. You can do this with fish. You can do this with mushrooms, shrimp. I've done french fries, cheese curds, mozzarella sticks, all your favorite fried foods, very, very efficiently. Another reason for this skipper we talked about, this skimmer we talked about earlier is it also helps take the food out. What I can do now is I can take all these little pieces and these chunks, the things you don't want, and I can discard these so I can drop another batch in. So there you have it, the frying saucer, very easy to use. As we move into the season, I'm going to show you other ways to use this product. We're going to do it out on the ice. We're going to try some french fries, some fried green beans. I got some ideas here. My family likes to eat fried food. So we're going to show you some more ways to use this frying saucer. Hopefully you learned a few things. You saw this new product. Very easy to use, very easy to transport. It cooks amazing food. Very productive and efficient. So Matt Johnson with Outdoor Dish. Stay tuned this entire season. I'm excited to offer this opportunity to touch the audience of the outdoor men and women to show you how I cook for my family and friends, and we'll have a lot of fun doing so. So thanks for watching. Matt Johnson with Dish, and we'll catch you next time.